Welcome back everyone to Outworld Platinum Walkthrough. The last episode was a little bit too long, so I had to make a cut and have to edit in my little intro. So you're up to speed what happened in the last episode. We have completed a few repeatable quests, so nothing major, just a little more coin. We have also crafted the Gold Lich Maze, a Thorny Claymore and the Thorny Spear. Then we went to the Ancestor's Resting Place to complete William of the Wisp and take care of the unique enemy, the Crusher. Um, next we went to Face of the Ancients, we completed the quest uh, Red Idol, we have received the Led Red Lady's Dagger for it and we also killed the first cannibal which gave us the Sky Crown Maze. Now back to the episode. Alrighty. So I did a little bit of preparation because I want to try and take on another dungeon and also another boss. What I did in the meantime, I repaired my equipment, I crafted myself a second obsidian pistol, also I browsed through my inventory and I found I had a brutal axe and also an alpha tyrannosaur tail and a palladium scrap. So what I want to do now is use the Brutal Axe in crafting, also the Tail and the Palladium Scrap. Now we have the Tuanosaur Axe, which inflicts extreme bleeding. It won't uh, be useful in this episode, but um, we now have three damage over time effects. We have extreme poison, burning and extreme bleeding. This should work out just fine. I have also crafted um, a few more tripwire, tripwire traps, also a few more iron spikes and also uh, one cloth knuckles. I plan on fighting a boss this episode, but not head on. I want to use traps to my advantage. So if I did everything right, um, if, and if my calculations are, are correct, something around like 30 tri tri tripwire traps should be alright. And 29 iron spikes. But we'll see if it actually works out. So let's see. I also brought a bunch of food, a few more bullets. I also brought a fungal cleanser because there is a chance that you may get infected with a disease. A few enemies do spread a nasty disease. Yeah, but I think I should be, we should be good right now. Let's have a quick look at the skills that I have set up, my quick slots. Yeah, I have the obsidian pistol here, of course. Mace infusion to block elemental attacks. Won't be too necessary, but in case, just in case. I'm also going to use the Scarlet Lady Dagger, so I have the uh, Dagger Slash on my Quick Bar, because it's very fast. Let's see if it works out as, as intended. Let's head on out. to the southern exit. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly make sure my guns are loaded. And they are. All right. Let's go. Uh, also, equip the uh, traveling gear. So our plan is to head east this episode after we cross this bridge. You can maybe see it lurking in the distance. It looks like a like a giant hornet nest. That's our destination. OK. 
Okay, the dungeon that we want to take on right now has a unique kind of enemy. We have already faced a few types of them. We faced, we faced human enemies, we faced um, the scourge, a few scourge enemies, and these are um, sort of like hive enemies. Um, yeah, they only appear in a in a few instances in the game. I mean, I'm I'm not crying about that. I don't like those enemies anyway. But I think it's kind of cool, unique kind of enemies. But they do like they they do look a little disgusting, I think. Oh wait, did I go the wrong way? Uh, I guess I did. I go up here. Damn it! Okay, yeah, of course I'm here now. I need to go further to the south. But this is the vigil pylon. There is another dungeon that contains a few golems, a few ghosts, and it also contains a leg legacy chest. But for the time being, it's not worth our time. Our build is not fully fleshed out, uh, fleshed out yet. So maybe we come back later. Maybe not. Alrighty. I'm getting close. Yeah, well, this looks better. Here's another palladium vein. Good, good, good. This is the location where we want where we want to where we want to be. You can see one nest-like structure on the ground in the east. And you can also see another Ugh. What a way to go. You can also see the hive's prison over here will become a little more important later on, but for now it does not matter to us. But what matters to me, of course, see the supply cache. Alrighty. You can already see there's a few enemies over there. Three of them. I don't plan on taking them on right now, but this is the kind of enemies that we will face off against. Now, now quickly equip your combat gear. Okay, apparently I've torn them apart. I mean their formation. You're not worth my time. No. Okay. So before I head inside, I want to make sure I use Death and Egoth, so I have my runic protection. And the obsidian pistol might come in very handy here. Uh, 
Yeah, the reason I crafted a second one should be obvious, but I'll, having loaded guns in your inventory and switching them out on the fly is quicker than reloading. So now let's head inside here. Okay, this is a Hive Lord. It's a pretty big enemy, a pretty tough one. They do high physical damage. They, do, they deal high impact and they can also cast a little swarm of bugs that follows you around and deals damage to you and that can inflict a disease on you. What I am hoping for is that the little bugs come to my aid, take the brunt of its attacks. Looks like it's working out. So I'm just going to do the usual run around in circles to let the damage over time do its trick. The second boy has joined the fray. Okay, now they should, yeah, okay, they are ground to each other. Now there's a bit more breathing room. Crown Mace now to show it off. Okay, let's head a little further. Maybe we can lure some other enemies here. Now you can see in the front over there, the assassin bugs attack the uh, these enemies. It's nice that the enemies one that uh, share the same living space want to kill each other. It's a very nice touch. Okay, so the first bug is already dead. Ouch. As you have seen, there was a little explosion. When these hive enemies die, they usually um, cast an explosive swarm of bugs that chases the thing that killed them. So most of the time it will be you. Okay, so with minimal effort, we have taken down our first Hive Lord. The nice thing about the Hive enemies is that they drop occult remains almost every time. I don't know if, if I don't know if it's a fixed drop, but we want them occult remains. Okay, so one of the smaller hive enemies is already dead. Okay, they're taking good care of it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and loot this ornate chest. Oh, not bad. These sell for good money. Oh. Out of there. Oh, I want to loot this bug. Let's check out this path here. Okay, it's just a drop down. So the bug is already almost dead. Let's help it out. Quickly reload again. Check out this path over here. Another drop off. Let's loot the bug. Okay, apparently it's kind of stuck or not. Yeah, once they uh, it looks as if they would do a little scream where they emit the, the swarm of bugs. Once that happens, you want to stay in motion so they don't catch up to you. Oh, don't get stuck. Yeah, the 
hood looks really stupid. <clears throat> Again, we want to stay in, we want to keep moving. There's a little cloud, swarm of bugs. All right, that went pretty well. The reason we brought the fungal cleanser is because you can get infected by those bugs. The little swarm of bugs, I mean. Double check. Oh, all right. Um, lucky for us that didn't happen. So we can just take this path upstairs. And we want to uh, exit to Inmerka Forest again. So a little note, the upcoming area is filled with corruption in the definitive edition. edition. The enemy that we find here is the same, but the corruption is new. So I want to try and find a spot where there is no corruption. So I'm going to immediately head left. Up this little path here. And as you can see, we have no more corruption to take care of or to deal with. Well, this is basically the exit from the area. So do not drop off here yet. We have business to take care of. it begin all right right around here so this is where we will start setting up our traps and I will see you uh, see you again when I have placed down all my traps okay we have prepared the hive law trap walk so there's 29 spike traps with regular iron spikes and the first one is a bludgeon trap i filled it up with a cloth with cloth knuckles the cloth uh, the bludgeon trap deals um, damage and also applies confusion and the spike traps deal damage and also apply pain pain increase uh, decreases the enemy's physical resistance so the other following spike traps will all do more damage in theory and so will my weapons the idea I have two obsidian pistols one in my quick slot and one other in my uh, inventory I want to have the obsidian pistol equipped that is not on my quick slot bar so I don't have to reload midway I plan on firing both because the burning should do around 120 damage over the course of 40 seconds so i want to buff myself up i want to run in set it on fire lure it back to my traps when it's afflicted with confusion i want to quickly apply extreme poison unfortunately it's immune to bleeding so our freshly crafted axe won't be of any use uh, as a backup, I can also use, I will then be using the Red Lady's Dagger and the Sky Crown Mace. But this is kind of like a last resort. I, th I hope that my, um, my traps will do the trick. So, let's get started then. First, I want to eat the Tormip. Equip my Lexicon. Eat the tartine, eat the jerky. Next, I want to uh, use focus and enrage. And now I'm casting death and egoth. Oh no, come on! Really? Oh, that was close. <laughs> Alrighty, now 
should work for now. Just one mineral tea for more stamina. Uh, bitter spicy, but mineral tea. I want to take for the impact resistance. And now, let's go. It's a nice thick fog over here. Quickly run to the eastern eastern uh, part of this area. And there you can already see our prey. Come on now. Hello. Oh, let's run away. It has basically the same attacks as the Hive Lords. So we are a little more familiar now. But this thing is another unique enemy. Sort of like a mini boss. Similar to the um, Manticore, the Royal Manticore. Now, oh, soon. Okay, now I'm gonna head in. Go for the extreme poison and keep running. Yeah, this is gonna work out. I don't need. Oh, yeah. Good. I was over prepping. But why did we come here? Because we can now grab the World Edge Great Axe. Nice. Okay, the World Edge Great Axe, very powerful, a very quickly, uh, a very fast Great Axe. Um, I might end up using it. I haven't done for now in my uh, previous playthroughs. But now that we have it, might as well give it a try later on. So pick up your remaining spike traps. I'm not going to head back into the corruption area, because we are 71% corrupted now. It's no, not, a real, not really a big deal, but we don't want to take it any further for now. Now we can equip the uh, traveling gear again. Head down this path, slide down, and make a quick ride here to enter the forest hives. Okay, now we want to go ahead and slide down here. Good. See a little hive man over there. Got something for you. And I got something for you. Let's head back, quickly reload. The animation doesn't get cancelled, that is. Okay, well, let's keep in motion. So they are pretty much dead already. One and two. Good. So there you can see the swarm of bugs. It wants to explode up in your face. Okay, let's loot their corpses. Okay. Now I'm taking this little ramp path up here, up again. Okay, this is one of the drop-offs that we have seen in the, fer in the previous um, Forest Hive dungeon. I mean, this is, it's, th it's the same dungeon, it's just another entry to it. Okay, so this is done, it came from over there. Now we want to head here, grab the dreamer route. First I want to go up that ramp. And here we can see the chest 
that we previously have seen from below over there. So let's head back down once again. Let's follow along this path. Okay. You can see we are now overlooking the battleground where the assassin bugs helped us take on the first hive lord. There's a camouflage tent and another dreamer's root. Also gonna grab the star mushroom over here. All right. So forest hives done. We can now look for a path where we can slide down without losing any health. And then now want to head back to Berg. This episode was a pretty successful hunt. Inside the hive prison over there, there's another hive lord. So if you want to have a few more occult remains, get in there. But he also has two of those um, hive men, I think they are called walking hive, um, as backup. So could get nasty quick. I'd rather avoid that now. I can see the bridge in the distance. We're almost back. And that's pretty much all I want to do in, in Merka Forest, really. There's a, a few more things here and there, um, but they are not particularly important at this point. Oh, come on, why not? Oh. No, you're aggro to me. Yes. <laughs> I just love the fact that the enemies want to kill each other as well. That's a nice touch. In most games it's not like that. It's like you're the uh, singular threat out there. The whole world is out to get you. Ouch. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, I also like the um, the idea of this game that you are basically just a small nobody. You started with nothing. You are not the uh, the foretold bringer of salvation. You are not the chosen one, and you are not the descendant of a legendary heritage. No, you are just a basic nobody. Uh, you have to pay people basically to get anywhere become strong there is no leveling up no grinding so yeah you have to make do with things that you can find you rely on the people to assist you basically which doesn't stop you to become an unstoppable force in the end I think that's nice Good, so with all that rambling out of the way, we are back at Berg. I'm going to uh, go through my inventory again. And yeah, I'll end the episode here. 
I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one, and may wind be at your back, my friend.